Hello everyone and welcome back. It is me, Fallen Angel. How is everybody? All my beloveds. We are going to start a new game today. Last time we finished Emily's. I am actually playing free games <laughs> because I can't choose which ones to play the most. So I'm going to choose all of them because it's not going to hurt me any just to play all these games with y'all. But we last we already finished two games. We finished Amber's one, first one, and we just finished Emily's childhood memories. So I am on Amber's second one. I am playing remake play, playing the remake of Hospital Hearts Hospital Medicine. <laughs> My guinea pig, she's going crazy right now. What's wrong with her? My guinea pig is making noises. She might need to be held. She's been making like little cute little noises like every now and again when she doesn't hear nobody and I don't know what it is. It might be the light. She might be telling us to turn the light off. We'll Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> She's a drama queen. She when something is doesn't go her way, she needs it. But like I was saying, we're gonna continue a new game today. So let's just head into it and get started. They won the letter. Yoo-hoo, Emily. We're here, down here, dear. Mom, don't ruin my wedding. Weddings, cake, breakfast. Oh my gosh, I overslept. <laughs> Good morning, Emily. Morning, Patrick. Emily, it's almost 8 a.m. and you just woke up? What a way to run your own restaurant. She overslept. Give her a break, Evelyn. I guess I'm a little late this morning. I'm sorry I had to cancel our date yesterday evening. evening. It's okay. Maybe next time. Oh, before I forget, this one's for you. Oh, kid. Thank you. What a lovely rose. You're welcome. They were growing in my backyard. I just found them this morning. Funny how I, being a florist, never noticed them before. You know, I've always said flowers are like people. It's often the ones right in, under your nose you noticed least. Anyway, I'll go over next week's order with you later, alright? Oh, uh, talk to you then. <laughs> so, he gave you a rose, huh? Mom. <laughs> no, I know what I'm doing. What the heck? I had to pause. My little man FaceTimed me, so I had to see that. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all probably heard it before I got to pause it. <laughs> so, maybe. But, let's pause and let's talk. <laughs> As you can tell, we are doing Emily's True Love. It is the 
I don't think the second, but it's the uh, next one after Emily's Childhood Memories. And we're going to continue this until we finish it. So, hopefully y'all enjoy it. We're going to play all the Emily Emily's games, so keep checking in on me. And let's just get started into it. But yeah, you'll probably hear my phone go off. <laughs> kind of scared me there for a second because I didn't know what it was because my phone was underneath my notebook and I was like what the heck yeah, I see I see I know but <laughs> it's just I even you wanted to call and check up on talk to mama mm, yeah, this. I'm excited to play this game. I decided to play all my games, actually. No matter what games, I love playing them all. You want this and this. We'll do this here and clean. And two cookies for you, my little boy. I love the heart where it says restaurant is closed you good day won't you join us for a healthy home cooked meal my dear no thanks mom I can take care of myself oh will Emily find a life outside of work This page, look at it. It's like a, uh, like one of them romance thing, romantic things you see next time. It's like so stupid. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Three, three. Okay. Day two, the letter. Edward, you're not going to believe this. Look. Looks like a love letter. Who's John Paul? Emily's summer romance from 16 years ago. Don't you remember? She was so in love with him. I was worried she'd go back to Paris. I thought that was Angela. No, it was Emily. Anyway, it only just arrived. Can you imagine 16 years later? Don't even think about opening it, Evelyn. Oh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to clean up last night. Are you kidding me? Plain. Well, at least you do it fast. <laughs> Clean up over here. Mm, he wants lettuce and this and get the you and the out. I like her cat. I can't wait to get my two kittens. I'm mean, gonna have two kitties and I'm excited to have them. I had one a long time ago, which y'all knew that, and he uh, passed away, which hurt my soul. <laughs> Cause that was like my baby. But I can't wait to have my other ones. I know. There you go. Forgot my tray wasn't big enough. Whoops. <laughs> and I have this one over here. You want to do these and go back to cleaning. Grab this, grab this, clean here, and go in here. And then touch and go here, here, there. And clean up. 
There we go. Got it. Perfect. Okay, go in here. Pick up. Come on, girls. out. Come on. Newspaper. Ah. Come on, woman. I like to have a combination. Thank you. Good night, dear. Ahem. Uh -huh. Oh, silly me, I almost forgot. A letter came for you, Emily. It's been opened. What? A prankster must have let a hamster loose inside our mailbox. That can happen a lot, they tell me. What is it? What? What? It's John Paul. He did write me back after all. Next time, what happened 16 years ago? <laughs> Let's see, four and three. Okay. We'll do. Day three. I'm getting married. So, have you had a chance to read that letter yet? I'm trying to get myself to read it, Mum. What if? What do you think? I told you. I thought it was the electric bill. So, no hamsters, huh? Eek! A mouse! <laughs> now, that's what I call a good catch, Patrick. <laughs> Not a problem at all. You knew where to find me. I hate to leave, but I really should be going now. Catch you later. Alligator. <laughs> You're so cute. He's funny. I'll help you clean. Good. You went through my letter. You could help me clean. <laughs> I love that. Hamsters are loose in the mailbox. I never heard of that. God, I hate Snoopy people. It's worse when it's your parents. Well, good thing my mom's never went through my mail. The only time she does is if I ask her to. But since I have my own mailbox, I ain't gonna worry about that. <laughs> Come on, Emily. It doesn't matter what it says. Those days are gone. The Ferris wheel went around on a warm Paris night. I closed my eyes and hugged you tight. Oh. So she is going to read it. Uh-huh. We knew it. In a way, you could stop yourself from reading a letter from a long time ago. Do you remember how in the cosmic colors of the sunset we wrote as one? Oh, Look how pretty. Look how cute she was little. And it asked the sweetest enough it would take us to our private world. Did 
Do you remember, Emily, cherished our first kiss? You wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. I only wanted to see you smile. Oh. Watching your train disappeared, I hollered, Emily, Emily, I'll wait for you forever. Come to prayers, my love. Hurry, love, John Paul. So beautiful, so romantic. If only I had gotten this letter 16 years ago. combo with that one lady but it didn't work. Go. Emily. Say, Emily, did you ever get a chance to read that? Come on, Evelyn. <laughs> she got mad. Francois! Uh, want to go to Roscoe's tonight? Lots of single guys hanging out every out, hanging out there after work. Thanks, Francois, but I've got some reading to do. Reading? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have fun. But I thought we were going to do four. I'm going to do three each. So that will be it for this video. Because I still got to record another video right after this. And I have to edit. And everything else is going crazy. But oh my gosh. We are starting a new Emily's game. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. And it's really sweet back, back then. Poor Emily. Hopefully she'll figure things out. <laughs> but I hopefully you are enjoying this. If so, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Which Emily's game is your favorite? But I will see you in the next video. Much love, my angels. Bye, guys.